Hi, my name is Cass, and I am an avid traveler that lives my life through food over at foodbeforelove.com, and I'm also the boss babe in charge over at the Rosario Group.co. Please, please, please subscribe to my YouTube channel below so that you can see where I'm eating next, as well as how I'm flying from city to city and working remotely. And Lord knows what else you'll see on the channel, but I promise it'll be awesome. I recently spent the week in Bali and I planned a trip for about seven other travelers. Love you guys. Love you. And as much as I tried to anticipate everything um, that we would ex you know, experience out there, I couldn't. Um, so I want to share some things with you guys that you can do to prepare for your trip to Bali, Indonesia, as well as some of the things that you may not have you may not have anticipated on your way there as well. So here are my top five, top five, top five. So first things first, Zika is real. So the first thing you want to do in preparation for Bali is go to the doctor. Like seriously, go get checked out, go get a physical, make sure everybody that's on the trip has gotten checked out, no one's pregnant because you can't be pregnant and you get Zika, your baby, no. Mm -mm. So you want to make sure that you get all the vaccines that you need to get before you go out there. You want to do your research on what um, what diseases could possibly be out in the area that you're going to as well to make sure that you're covered for that. Okay, two, you need to buy alcohol in advance because the liquor in Bali is expensive, especially at the airport, but it doesn't end there. Also in the city, it's not cheap. And though the exchange rate is a lot better if you're coming there with USD, no, they try to rate you with the alcohol prices, seriously. A bottle of Grey Goose is like $150 plus, it's ridiculous. So make sure that you either buy alcohol in the city that you're coming from and bring it with you, or if you have a layover, then you should buy alcohol there and then bring it with you. Three, 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 three. Three, you need to book things in advance, but not everything. Something that you might book in advance, you could possibly find on your trip to Bali that is cheaper there with either your driver or a travel company there. But you probably should get some things done early because once you get there, you might not have time to actually do all the bookings that you want to do. So create a loose itinerary for yourself. Book things, especially if you're with a group, so that everyone's pretty much set on what's going to happen. But also leave some things to chance so that you still have fun on your trip. You don't need to plan every single little detail, but you should plan some of them. Foam, foam. Just kidding. I'm really proper. I promise. So the fourth thing that you should do is decide how much money you want to exchange. The money in Bali is called rupiah, and I think about ten thousand dollars is a dollar USD. So you know you're gonna be out there falling out of control, huh? Yeah, I didn't mean to say oh I'm sorry about that. Five. So I know you're totally gonna be like, is this girl serious? Is this really her last tip? But it is. You have to research. You'd be surprised how many people go on vacation, don't research anything, and then be mad when they get home and they search on Instagram and they see all these cool things that they didn't get to do. Research, research, research Bali. Research the language. Research where to eat, research where to have a good time is so necessary, such a vital, key, important part of traveling, enjoying your vacation, making sure everyone has a good time. There has to be somebody in your crew, if it's not you, that's going to research the hell out of that trip. Seriously, make sure you research. Suck some more. Let me thank you. I researched that. Okay, let's run those down really, really quickly. Number one. Check with your doctor. Make sure you don't got nothing. Make sure you're not gonna get nothing. Get your vaccines. Get your life together. Number two, get alcohol in advance. Whether you do it in the city that you're coming from or in your layover, make sure you pick up liquor because it's way too expensive in Bali. Also, you want to exchange your money in the city of Bali after you decide how much money you really want to exchange. It's cheaper to do it there and you're gonna be a little like me. The fourth thing you want to do is book things in advance Leave some things to chance. Have a good time. Get loose. But try to keep the schedule so that you do things that you really want to do. And number five, research, research, research your ass off. It's very important. It's very needed. You're going to have a great time in Bali. I just know. If you're interested in traveling with me, I actually have a travel series called Traveling While Hungry. You can join our Facebook group at the link below. 
And we're going to Colombia next. We kind of missed the boat for that one. But maybe you could join us on the next trip. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to find out where we're going next. And get in the Facebook group so that you can be in touch with other travelers like you.